All right, we're back. We're going to talk about tornadoes, strong winds that came through the area last night. Depending on where you were, uh, pretty harrowing experience because alarms were going off, phones were going off, uh, tornadoes near Homa, tornadoes near uh, Bayou Blue, tornadoes in Lafourche. Joining us now, the sheriff of Lafourche Parish, Sheriff Craig Weber, joins us again at Sheriff, this isn't your first rodeo. God, we've been through so many hurricanes, and of course, after Ida, uh, a lot of people just starting to get their homes back into shape, and we get weather like this. So tell us in your own words uh, what y'all were experiencing, and you know, it, it, it's part of the job of being a deputy, isn't it? Well, you know, weather-related incidents, at least in my personal and professional experience, are increased from even when I was a young boy and, and a young officer. I mean, we always had a hurricane season and we have occasional hurricanes and now we seem to be getting uh, much more uh, weather in between hurricane season, severe weather. I mean, our whole area had been alerted to this, this uh, area of bad weather that was coming through and I think there were 12 tornadoes in Houston alone. And so we were somewhat braced for it as best you can, but tornadoes are just one facet of weather that is, that is uh, while they can put you in a tornado warning, if you happen to be in the area where a tornado forms, uh, there's very little that you can do other than the common sense things of, of getting in a, a secure location. And what we experienced last night, about 1030 or so, we started getting reports of, of weather related issues, high wind, maybe microburst. And then about 11 o'clock, uh, we got the report of the tornado or maybe 10 minutes to 11 had struck on Bayou Bend Drive, which is a street that intersects with Highway 316 in Bayou Blue, maybe half a mile or so north of the O'Carroll Produce area. And Holly Street intersects with Bayou Bend that um, some houses had been impacted and um, there were tornado activity, or at least suspected tornado, tornado, uh, tornadic activity. Our officers uh, responded along with the Bayou Blue Volunteer Fire Department and um, noticed a, a series of homes that had been impacted. Um, fortunately, no one was, was injured uh, in this event. Uh, a lot of the damage to the homes appear to have been caused by maybe a barn type shed and some of the other uh, awnings that were blown, you know, these, these awnings that blew off. And as, as they were blowing off, they were being blown in the area um, to the back, I guess the north area and they were impacting other structures as you can see that are, that are present on the screen right now. Um, the uh, fireman uh, and, and neighborhood uh, was able to assist uh, everyone in, in trying to stabilize their homes um, and Red Cross was called out um, after parish government was notified and responded. So there are, we, are, we went back this morning and people are busy, um, those that can, repairing their homes and roofs, you can see that uh, our first responders were, were there trying to tarp as best they can in the midst of, of this weather event uh, to minimize loss. But uh, one person whose home was still under repair from Hurricane Ida and they were living in a, a camper made the choice to go back into the home because uh, it probably was a much more secure, um, secure structure even though it wasn't being lived in at the time. And that was a good choice. And let me, let me ask you, because when that tornado warning came across right in the city of Homa proper, I would assume from listening to the winds that the tornado was airborne, hadn't touched down, and uh, for the unlucky ones where it touched down was there, but it, it, was, uh, it was active for a little while. Is that your recollection of it? Yeah, the information that, that we were, uh, we, we got calls from the last 15 or 20 minutes, so it was pretty active for a while. And uh, fortunately, again, first and foremost, no one was even injured and, and heaven forbid killed. Um, and secondly, it was in a very, it was, it was isolated to a small area. It wasn't like a large tornado that impacted, you know, a, a, a two or three mile stretch. Uh, nevertheless, though, for the people who were impacted, it's, you know, another gut punch after having lived through Ida and and dealing with uh, the after the after effects of that. Any idea of the strength of the tornado? Uh, has it been listed yet? It hasn't, and it hasn't officially been classified as tornado. It could be microbursts, could be straight line winds. 
uh, National Weather Service will look at, I think, um, the damage assessments and look at the weather reports and gauges, and then they have some method that they come to determining how to classify these type of events. Yeah, and Sheriff, with about a minute left, I just want to thank you and all the law enforcement because, you know, we, we always depend on you guys and gals to, to get out there and keep us safe, and you all do a great job. But, uh, and I know the deputies are putting themselves in harm's way too, but just want to thank you on behalf of the community for a great job. And, and I cannot say enough about our volunteer firemen. They're leaving their houses Absolutely. and they're going to the assistance of their neighbors. And, you know, they have to still get up and go to work in the morning. So they're, they're, they're equally uh, heroes in events like this. And this will give me a good time to thank my crew gathering B-roll and doing different things, sure. getting on the phone with, with your people and everything. And then we're at work reporting on it today, but Sheriff, thank you so much. And, uh, Good to see you back in that seat, and uh, you're looking well, and you're drinking that coffee, and stay healthy. And uh, I guess we'll we'll catch you on other news, but hopefully it'll be a little better. For sure. Thank you for your time. I'll maybe see you from Mardi Gras. All right. There you have it. The sheriff of Lafouche Parish, Sheriff Craig Weber. We appreciate the transparency of of our law enforcement in this area, and uh, bringing you what we can to try to. Uh, get you information as it happens. We'll take a break. We'll come back with more, including some eyewitnesses that actually saw and heard the tornado.